Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, things have been a little turbulent there at the Colorado front. We haven't really talked much about them in a bit as things have really been shifting for them after the season. Finished in year four and eight. And I mean, you know, that's just under what my expectations were. I had them pegged at six and six, but some of the teams there in the Pac-12 ended up being a little bit better than I anticipated, namely Arizona. But since then, there's been some shifts and changes in the coaching staff. And we saw Sean Lewis leave and go to San Diego State. And he left with Bill O'Boyle, who was on the offensive line. But then a Sooner emerged as the new offensive line coach for Colorado. And they just landed literally yesterday. They hired Phil Lodehall, the former offensive lineman for the Minnesota Vikings and Oklahoma Sooners. And now they just brought in five-star plus offensive tackle Jordan Seaton into the fold. And I got to tell you, Lodeholt, Seaton, we got to talk about it because I like to celebrate the Sooners that uh, move around. But before we do that, welcome to Unfair Sports. I'm your host, Jay. Thank y'all for pulling up to the channel. You know we're going to watch film on Jordan Seaton, but I want to talk about Coach Prime bringing in Oklahoma's Phil Lodeholt as his new offensive line coach. So we've got to talk about him and what he's done in his career. Let's talk about Coach Lodeholt, and then we're going to dive into the first big win and big fish on offensive line that came in the recruiting trail, which is Jordan Seaton. And so Lodeholt, Massive human being, six foot eight, 345 pound guy. Imagine him as your offensive line coach, right? As an offensive lineman, you're sitting in the six two to six six range, six seven on your best days. And then you got this ginormous human being standing over you, teaching you the way of the line. And this is what Phil Lodehall's going to be doing. He's a native of Honolulu, Hawaii. He played at Garden City Community College in the Kansas area and <clears throat> ended up in Oklahoma. And honestly, balled out. From there, he ended up getting drafted in the second round of the NFL draft, going to the Minnesota Vikings, and he spent all eight seasons of his career there. That's, you know, of course, what Oklahoma does is we produce some offensive linemen, right? And he came in, did his thing, and then after he uh, tore his Achilles in 15, he decided to step away from the game in 16 and retire. And since then, he's moved around a lot, right? So he spent some time at UCF. As an analyst, went to Ole Miss as an analyst, and he spent the last two seasons with the Sooners back home where he came from as an analyst. And so the anticipation for Phil Lodeholt was that he would leave and go with Jeff Levy to Mississippi State to be on the offensive line, get his coaching uh, career started, and kind of go from there. But a big wrinkle popped up last night as Brian Howell over there at Buff Pride reported that Coach Prime is hiring Phil Lodeholt as his offensive line coach now that Bill O'Boyle is gone with Sean Lewis over to San Diego State. There was a void that need to be filled. And boom, they made a pretty solid hire to me. Former NFL guy. And again, you got to remember the staff that's there at Colorado. So Coach Prime brought in Pat Shermer, who worked at Minnesota at one point with Mike Zimmer. Zimmer was there. Lodeholt was there when Zimmer got there in 2015 and Lodeholt was at the end of his career. So he's been there working with the coaching staff that's there at Colorado. And also someone else on that Colorado staff that's from Oklahoma, Gabe Lynn, who played DB here at Oklahoma. He's an analyst on the defensive side of the ball also. So there's an opportunity. So Coach Prime are bringing in some of these up and coming guys, giving them a chance to be able to ball out. And so after seeing the load hauled hire, I was like, okay, I'm wondering what he's going to be able to do, you know, get that line going and go get some recruits. Well, five-star plus rated as the number one offensive tackle in the country, Jordan Seaton decides that Colorado is the place for him. And he said in an interview that he went there because of Coach Prime. He's got the gold jacket, Hall of Famer, and he's going to give him the opportunity to play early if he proves himself. And yeah, that Colorado offensive line needs as much help as possible. So Jordan Seaton sits here at six foot five, two hundred and ninety-five pounds of man. And out of Washington, DC played at IMG Academy, in which Oklahoma had a chance at him too. I know Phil Holo Holt was probably one of those reasons talking to him. And when Seaton put out his final his top, like was that five or ten or whatnot? You didn't really see anything about Colorado. You know, the rumor is, is they had a puncher's chance to win his services. And he had 
Maryland, Ohio State, Oregon, Alabama, Florida, and Tennessee is his top six on for his commitment graphic. And then what happened? Colorado walked in there and snatched some chains and sent him there with Coach Prime, which you cannot beat that. That's huge for what Prime and them are trying to do at Colorado. It's even more huge bringing in Phil Lodeholt as the offensive line coach, getting him developed with a big-time player. Now Phil gets to prove himself as an offensive line coach. Can you do it? Can you make some the magical happen at a team that really only has an opportunity to go up at the offensive line. I think Phil Lowhawk can do that. And so when I saw this hire and then I saw this commitment back to back, I'm like, Oh yeah, y'all know we got to show a lot of love to my boy prime. Got to show love to Phil as he now has come in and got himself a big time offensive lineman to start his journey at Colorado. So, Y'all know how excited we get. Hop in the comments. Let your boy know what's your thoughts. Phil Loho gets the job and then lands a five-star plus athlete thanks to the help of the allure of Coach Prime and what he's trying to figure out there at Colorado. I'm stoked for it. It's going to be fun seeing them in the Big 12 next year as they make their valiant return back to the conference and maybe try to own that place, right? I want to see if that can happen. If you made it this far, you like the content, hit the like button. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. Love for you to join this family of college football fans as we talk a lot of OU football and college football in general, and we have a blast doing it. So, YouTube says check out one of these videos. I highly recommend it. Made it for y'all. We'll get back on the train with Prime and them, especially since we're now in recruiting season and things are going to get really hot and heavy. And uh, we'll see what this coach staff looks like. We'll talk soon. Peace.